Black Country Matters with Paul Collins. The wine song, hooray. There are those who like their wine because it adds sophistication to that hearty meal they're serving to their friends. And there are those who like their wine because it helps in the creation of that party feel on which so much depends. And there are those who'd like their wine to come from eastward facing chateau on the plateau of Lorraine and all that bunk. Well, their motives are not mine. I like lots and lots of wine and I like it because it gets me drunk. There are those who take a glass because it helps them to relax. You find it helps their social manner to improve. Now that is a jolly useful scheme I've often taken to its logical extreme. I sometimes get so well relaxed I can't move. And there's another kind of fellow drinks champagne to make him mellow and he swears by Clico, Bollinger and Brute. Well, I tried some Brute myself. I found it on the bathroom shelf and he was right. It gets you mellow as a newt. You can judge your wine by the quality of the vine, by its colour or bouquet and all that junk. But it all comes back to the falling over factor and the fact that it gets you drunk. There are those who like to think that it's important what you drink. They haven't got an inkling what it's all about. They spend their evenings tasting decent drinking time by tasting drops of this and that, then spitting it all out. They pass along the tables, truth, they even read the labels, muttering things like, what a shame, the cork has shrunk. Or fruity nose, or too much tannin, when they ought to get a man in who appreciates the chance to get drunk. They waste their time describing what they ought to be imbibing, which is wine, of course, although you'd never think it. For they use words like young but promising, precocious, full of fun. You're going to have thought they were going to adopt the stuff, not drink it. And at a meal, these silly asses sit with rows of empty glasses, a different wine with every dish they eat. Me, I mix whatever's handy in a stiff all-purpose shandy that goes very nice with chips or shredded wheat. You can judge your wine by the quality of the vine, by its colour or bouquet and all that junk. But it all comes back to the falling over factor and the fact that it gets you drunk. those who take delight pronouncing all the labels right they roll their r's and do the german glottals me i couldn't give a monkeys because the stuff for getting drunk is on the inside not the outside of the bottles so if you hold a cheese and wine invite your friendly philistine call me drunk and call me subtle call me wino what do i know you'll find me in the kitchen i'll be giggling and twitching having a sup and throwing up across your lino you can judge your wine by the quality of the vine, by its colour or bouquet, whatever that is. But it all comes back to the falling over factor and the fact that it gets you ratted. Uh, you can judge your wine by the quality of the vine, by its colour or bouquet if you insist. But it all comes back to the falling over factor and the fact that it gets you misty eyed and mellow, gets you more than mawkish, miserable and pissed. I'm sorry about that, Paul. <laughs>